Hello everyone, today's video is a tutorial on how to use Pluralize 4. Pluralize is an audio syncing software that will just save you so much time. I wish that I had learned about Pluralize years ago because everyone knows what a hassle it is to try and manually sync up waveforms within your timeline and it can just be really, really time consuming. So what Pluralize does is syncs them up for you automatically. It will find peaks in all of your different audio sources and video sources and just match them up for you in 10 minutes or less instead of you know taking hours. If you were to do it manually, it can do it very, very quickly. Um, so this is how it works. And um, once you are finished syncing, you can just export that project file into either Final Cut or Premiere, depending on what you use. So first thing is first, as always, you want to keep your footage uh, organized and labeled. So here is my footage. I had three camera sources. Um, so we've got all of that content in here, and I had three audio sources. Um, one was plugged into a sound mixer. What this Basically what this, um, this shoot was, was a uh, a live music video shoot so um, I had one audio device plugged into the board and two ambient um, mics placed in different parts of the room but anyways I have them all right here um, it, you know you want to have them located somewhere but even though I have all these other folders in within this folder uh, I'm just gonna be using these uh, original video and audio sources so um, we're gonna go straight into um, add media Plural, pluralize is very simple it's it's you just import you sync and you export that is all pluralize is used for um, run a little slow here so it's going to give you an import window and actually instead of doing that i can just drop my files in like it says so that's what i'm going to do i'm just going to say bada boom but a bing and drop them in there. And immediately you see that it's preparing the media to synchronize. It's already recognizing that these are three different um, camera angles. And once I sync them, it will create three separate audio tracks for me as well. So you just let it synchronize or prepare, I guess, prepare to synchronize. So down here, it's it's ready. It says 27 clips ready to synchronize. So once you have that go ahead, you just simply press synchronize. And depending on how long um, your shoot is, you know, if you have hours and hours and hours of footage to sync, it's it's obviously going to take a little bit longer. Um, but if see if we look here, it's it's already doing all this magic for us, and bam. That shoot was about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, and I just synced literally everything from that in 20 seconds, I mean, wicked fast. So, um, looks like we had a little stray clip over here that I must have just started accidentally recording, but all of this should be um, that core part of the show, whereas this was just, I had the audio uh, recording before and after um, the show, just to, just to have it ready, so once, once it's synchronized, we're going to export the timeline. Um, I can choose the, the project file and where it goes. The fumble buckers sounds a little weird, but that is the name of the band that I was shooting. They're actually very good. Um, so I'm just going to go and choose another. We're going to choose this folder. It'll say save. Oh. Yeah, we'll replace it. I've done this before, so that's why I already have this project file. Um, and then it says export format, Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro X, X ugh, um, audio files and video files. I am going to edit this whole thing in Premiere Pro, so I'm going to say, bam, Premiere Pro. Um, you, you have like a few other options here, color unsynchronized clips. Um, so if you had something that was just some stray video that wasn't even a part of this, you know, shoot, it would just put it in, put it at the end um, put it at the end of your timeline and make it a different color to signify that, hey, this doesn't go here. Um, so that all looks good, and I'm just going to say export, and bam, timeline successfully exported. 
So now I'm going to go into Premiere, I'm going to drag this over, and we're going to go to our media browser, and I'm going to go find that XML file. That's uh, an XML file is a project file or a sequence file. Sorry, um, fumble bookers. And this right here is what we just exported, FumbleBuckers um, XML. So when I say import, it is going to import that entire timeline we just saw in Pluralize. Double click, this is the sequence here, your synced sequence, double click, it will open it up and bam, just like that we have all our audio sources um, right here, you see we got that shot, this shot, and all our stuff is synced up and now you just begin editing like normal and as you can tell all of that, all these little pieces in here, that would take a very long time to sync up if you were to, to do that manually. So um, that's basically how Pluralize works. It's an, it's an incredible software. I would definitely recommend getting it. It costs about $300 online on the Red Giant um, website. I'll provide a link to that. If you have a, if you're a student, I think they have student options available. I think I paid like 150 for the student version, but totally worth it. Um, I think it might even be a one-time fee. I don't know if you have to renew it, but anyways, totally recommend it. Check it out. Um, I use this for pretty much everything. I mean, weddings especially. This is this is huge. It's an it's an amazing software. So, anyways, that's the end of this tutorial video. Um, thumbs up if you liked it. Um, leave a comment below if you would. If you have any requests for different videos you'd like to see, and as always, subscribe. Um, that's it. Thanks, guys.